These apples and pears have been rejected by supermarkets for not looking good enough. Many big retailers won't sell misshapen or ugly fruit, and it often goes to waste. But here at Plackendale Zoo near Brussels, it's being fed to the animals. Consumers in supermarkets don't want to buy apples with a bulb or with a scarf in it, so uh, that's the stuff we get. Campaigners want the EU to force retailers to donate all their waste food to charity, a law that already exists in France and Italy. It's certainly going down well with these hungry elephants. The seven elephants here eat 100 kilos of food each every day, much of it apples and pears. And the zoo is now getting 400 kilos a week from food that people throw away. As well as having to donate out-of-date but edible produce to charities or food banks, MEPs want supermarkets to take responsibility for encouraging consumers not to throw good food away. We have a problem with uh, best before and use by date. People don't understand the difference and they throw, throw away all the food. So uh, educational campaigns are very important. Retail bodies say supermarkets are already working to reduce waste and the EU needs to concentrate on rolling back rules that make it harder to give to food banks. Fusions project at the European level has identified there are 52 pieces of legislation that in one way or another impacts on whether you can donate food or we cannot donate food. And so I think the legislator can make it you know, more you know, easy to, uh, without actually, uh, of course, hindering uh, food safety, because that is paramount. Uh. MEPs say their plans will halve the amount of food wasted in the EU by 2030. That would be 44 million tonnes a year less going to waste. Elena Casas, CGTN, Brussels.